Well, hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Peggy and today I am sharing with you one of my absolute favorite meals. Uh, it's called roasted chicken and roasted vegetables. It's easy, it's simple, it meets all the requirements we talked about regarding nutrition and it also turns into a second meal for tomorrow that you repurpose. So let's get started. The first thing I do is always start with uh, vegetables because I don't want my meat on the cutting board and then put my vegetables on afterwards. I always do the vegetables first. I'll start with our grain, which today is going to be our potatoes. And you, you cut these pretty big, big pieces, but big enough that you can, you know, eat them comfortably and, you know, whatever that may be for you. And this is going to be our grain. So it's a one potato. So for my husband and I, so I'm, we're just cooking for two, it's going to be a half of potato each, which is perfect. And then next I'm going to do the carrots. And I don't peel the carrots because I like those extra nutrients. So I wash them with a the wire scrub brush, just like I do the potatoes. Also, just a quick knife tip. This is something I learned in a cooking class is when you when you do cut you you hold it like this pinch it at the top and your arm easily down like this and then you let me just show you with one you slide it in and you don't pick it up that way your arm doesn't get as tight. I mean you could do this all day long if you chopped this way. Okay. So calories so far in the, in the bag, and I've got this in a plastic bag, you'll see I'm going to be putting some spices and so forth in there in a minute. But um, so far calories, the potatoes 120, you've got the carrots, the three of them was uh, 90 calories. And next I'm going to show you this, this is a um, celery root. One of my favorite roasted vegetables, very low calorie. This whole thing, a cup of it is only, I think it's 50 calories. Yeah, a cup of this uh, celery root is only 60 calories. I take that back, 60 calories is about a cup. And you have to peel it. I've already peeled it because I didn't want to spend the time. You, you can't leave the uh, skin on. So unlike potatoes and carrots and so forth, you absolutely cannot do that. It's rough. It's too, it, it doesn't taste good. I've tried it. Uh, so you do peel it and it tastes like you're eating potato. I mean, and it's got a really, I wish you could smell it. It smells like celery, but in a, in a, a richer, rootier way. There's no other way to describe it. I've I go to our Asian Mart, it's called the H Mart to buy these. The price on it is so much cheaper than at your regular grocery stores. So that's where I get it. And then they also sell them at your farmer's market uh, later on in the season. Right now it's winter here, so I can't go to the farmer's market. But the Asian Mart always has good prices and they always have it available, unlike your standard grocery stores. I've already chopped um, my uh, broccoli. Um, I am not going to put that in here because I usually put this on at the end. So, excuse me, a half a tablespoon of oil, and actually that's a teaspoon and a half. And so it works out beautifully for me because I'm going to put a half, a whole teaspoon in this bag. And this is the fattening stuff, so I always am very careful and make sure I measure it properly. And then I'll put a half a teaspoon on this, uh, the greens later on. I'll roast this at uh, 400 for about a half an hour or until tender. Now what I do is I also put in fresh ground pepper, very important. And I put a lot in because I like a lot of flavor with that pepper. I think just provides a little zing. You can even put some cayenne pepper or anything like that, but we like pepper. I do not put salt in. Now, a lot of people put salt in, but we do not. 
we leave it for to sprinkle on very lightly if you want to. My my husband has uh, is not supposed to be using that much salt, so I use a little bit of salt on it. Um, but that way you don't put in the salt and then everybody has to eat the same amount of salt. Some people like a little more, a little less, none, and so it works out for us. This is the salt I use. Um, it's called uh, iodized salt scents. It is real salt and they've uh, shaved it so that it's lighter and you only get 33% of the sodium. You get 33% less sodium. So I like this because it's natural, it's real, it's not a salt substitute. Okay, okay so what I do is Ziploc this bag real tight and really mix it up. Okay, so next what we'll do is get a piece of parchment paper. I, I discovered parchment paper about two years ago and I absolutely love it because it saves me time on any kind of cleaning of these pans. If you're roasting vegetables, it can be a mess. So just put it in a cookie sheet like this. We're gonna pour this into the cookie sheet. And then spread it all over. And hopefully you can see this right there. Looks like that. Okay. Next, uh, and with the same bag that you had the potatoes and carrots in, put that broccoli in there with that, another half a teaspoon of oil, little pepper, and mix those up as well and put that to the side because you're going to put those in at the very last maybe last 10 minutes or so. So you're gonna put this in for a half an hour to 45 minutes, and in the last 10 to 15 minutes, the thing to be testing with a fork is the potato. When the potato is soft, just at that edge between hard and soft, stick the broccoli in and it'll crisp up and just be delicious. Again, you don't wanna cook out all the nutrients in the broccoli and have it be too limp or anything like that by cooking it the entire 45 minutes. So it's as simple as that. Okay, so, so the next thing we're gonna do is a roasted chicken. So when you get a roasted chicken at the grocery store, it is full of sodium and crap. I mean, I can't, I can't even read all the stuff that's on it. And this is just a really simple, easy way to have a healthy, nutritious uh, whole chicken. And the first thing I start with is this. It's it's basically, they used to call it beer can chicken, but this is a little bit more sophisticated than a beer can, but you certainly can use a beer can or whatever else. But this one is pretty nice because it has uh, holes that seep out the steam uh, from the liquid we're about to pour in here. And the liquid that I always choose is lemon. I love lemon and chicken. You can use anything that you like, um, but lemon is our, is our favorite. And you fill it up to the first hole. Sometimes it has to leak out before I can actually. Then uh, you literally put it on a plate. We're gonna cook this outside. So even better, you're not gonna get your whole house um, heated up. We're gonna put it on the grill. You can also cook it in the oven, but uh, I like that crispy, um, texture that the grill gives it. And I've got a couple tips on the grill when we get out there. But um, all you do is, and this is the worst part, picking it up, or at least is, is in my opinion. And this is after, I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on it. Because again, we love lemon chicken. Um, and I'm gonna do some stuff outside when we're at the grill. Like, I don't put this uh, cooking spray on it until we get outside because I don't like it to get all over the kitchen. I find that stuff gets really, really bad. A fresh lemon, nothing like it. And we're gonna flip it, get the other side as well. This is where the breast is. My husband loves the drums. He also loves the wings. I get these chickens at Costco. I don't buy the organic ones. They're, they're too expensive. I mean, I'm just going to say it. 
but I buy the ones that have no additives. Um, there's no crap in it. It's just chicken, plain old chicken, and it's delicious. Okay, so we've got the lemon liquid in there, and when it gets cooking, it is going to steam. Of course, this little bugger. Oh, there we go. Okay, is going to steam with lemon juice the inside, so it keeps it moist and delicious. Oh, so good. What we're going to do now is I the the Spice that we like to have on our chicken is paprika. It's a pretty standard one. We love the taste. With a little lemon, paprika is just a spectacular um, blend. Um, so I'm gonna go out, we're gonna go out to the grill and we're going to- Okay, so we're out here in the yard uh, and I've got the chicken here, we've got the grill and we've got our paprika and we've got our cooking spray. So as I said, I always do that out here so we don't have to have a big old mess. I put a lot of this on, spray it all over. It makes it really crisp and nice for us and we like it that way. Okay. And then, I, like I said, I'm going to put some paprika on there because we like this flavor. And again, just spread it all over. Um, you know, don't don't worry about what it looks like or if you've missed a space or anything like that. Just, you know, get it covered to the extent you want it and the flavor you want it. We like a lot of it. Okay, so the most important tip I'm gonna tell you today is number one, preheat your grill. Uh, right now I have all four grill fires on. It's 600 degrees in there. And this is the tip of a lifetime because I used to burn these chickens right and left is that if you have four burners, you shut down one of them and put the chicken on top of that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm turning off one burner and I'm moving the chicken to the one without the burner on. So the heat will go around it. It will not be burnt. It'll be nice and roasted and toasty and delicious, but it won't burn. So that is the number one tip I have for you using this grill. Okay, the chicken is done and my husband has carved it. It looks delicious. It's crispy on the outside, as you can see here. There's also a photo on the website. Uh, he's carved it, and now it's very important that you measure it because eyeballing and say, oh, this is about two ounces or three ounces, I have no way of knowing that, and even as the, the number of times that I've actually done it, I still uh, can't eyeball it. So I measure it out because meat is fattening again or is very caloric and so I get three ounces of white meat and I'm going to measure that out right now and there's one there's two and this is going to be three looks like yes three ounces and then um, Eric gets two ounces of white meat because he also has two wings and a drumstick so that is he gets a little bit more. Let's see if that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, so that's it, and we'll see what. Okay, here we are. This is my husband Eric, and we have the final meal. And this is mine. Um, if you can see it, it's delicious. I've got my meat. I've got my vegetables. I've got my grain. My total calories is about 400, just under 400. Eric, you want to show yours? His is just under 600, and that's just about what we have to have per meal. So we're gonna go ahead and taste it. I'm gonna use a little bit of that salt I told you about, just sprinkle. He can't use any, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it first. I'm gonna taste my favorite thing, which I told you is my celery root. Mm, it's perfect. It's got a real nutty, earthy flavor. I absolutely love it. Delicious. Eric, what do you think? Mm, I love the carrots because of the 
the sweetness. Oh, very good. And what about, you want to try any of your meat or? Hmm, my favorites are the chicken wings. <laughs> I knew you was going to say that. Mmm, fantastic. Okay, so we'll see you again for another chapter of Cooking with Peggy.